What up, my people? What's going on? I'm going to get right to it. I ain't got too much time. I got to get the business up early. Got a lot of shit to take care of. The $40 eighth. You want to check resources of what I'm about to tell you. Uh, you can pull up High Times Magazine. Uh, you can go back as far as 2004 with those, but this is actually circa 2008 to 2010. And if you know a couple of big time hustlers, whatever the case may be, who is peddling this shit, they'll probably be able to confirm with you the same thing. I get my sources from the streets and from the pages, from the white authorities and the black authorities. Um, to those who may or may not know, well, to those who may know, if you hustled back in the day or whatever the case may be, particularly we, you know, back then, fire sold for fire prices. And we back when O was like $400, a half was like two. Quarter was still like 150 or something shit like that. Yeah, those was typically the prices that you were paying for premiums. That was back when we was back then anyway. 20% THC was the shit. I mean, that was about as strong as we could get back then. Actually, you know, it's like 25. Northern Lights is one of the strongest joints. But in any case, I say around 2010 ish, eight to ten or whatever. Uh the governing powers that be corrupt drug enforcement agencies. The mafia, Mexican drug cartels, or mad, you know, organizations, all to whom which was responsible for getting us our lovely product that we smoked back then. They had discrepancies, squabbles amongst each other that caused a whole bunch of problems and calamity. A short, y'all familiar with the term of drought? There was nothing for a minute. Nice little while. You couldn't get anything short of what suppliers already had stocked up. You know, then it all stopped or whatever the case may be. And while all this shit is getting sorted out, product is degrading it's just sitting where it's at it's just festering so everything gets worked out somebody get paid pablo probably sent money whoever he need to get paid some corrupt ass agent probably gets paid off and whatnot now they can ship shit again but unfortunately the product has been sitting and the growers who probably was waiting on that said product to move probably just stop period because they're going to be sitting on excess if they keep growing and cutting down so you got to wait now and unfortunately, we got bad product just sitting there. Well, it's not bad, it's degraded. Now, they try to come at y'all, y'all being the buyers back then or whatnot, and try to sell y'all this shit at cost. And naturally, being that it's degraded, people not buying it. So, sources and dealers got smart. I said, look, you know, let's give them the same shit. Just drop the price on it. They'll buy it. And y'all bought it. You bought it. I bought it. I was there. I bought it. You know, hey, we all bought it. Whatever the case may be. Eight, forty dollars? What? Yeah, give me that shit. You didn't even think twice about what it was. You already knew the weed was bull, but it was the only weed out there. So you're gonna smoke it. It wasn't Harry. So you're gonna buy it. Or whatever the case may be. So you bought it. We all bought it. Three years. But it's there's two or two or three years, maybe two thousand thirteen. Two or three years of this glorious stage where weed was just cheap and you was getting more. For less. That bad product finally got weeded out. And that fire back. That fire come back or whatever the case may be. Growers are putting out their good work or whatever. Know what I mean, but now when you get it, what you try to do with the with the with the with the with the, with the buyers and the, the sellers, they try to put the prices back to where they're supposed to go. But they can't because I've been getting it for three years straight or more at cost. 40, 40 for the 40, 40 for the eighth. Ooh, good in their right mind. Just gonna go back to paying 60 for the eighth. Now that y'all be getting 40 for the eighth, you know, what you mean? No, no, no. I don't wanna pay for them extra grams like I'm supposed to, no. So now we have a dilemma. Y'all been getting subpar weed and paying what y'all been paying and been satisfied by it. So that when above par weed tries to come back and the prices try to go back to where they're supposed to, it can't. So they come up with a brilliant idea. Let's keep giving them subpar weed. And let them pay what they're going to pay for. We'll send the fire to other parts of the country. Or other places. Or through certain people who got the channels. And allow those people to sell our product where it should be sold at. While we continue to make money. Selling this government cheese version of weed to the people who've been at this point set in their ways and not trying to hear no price going up either because you can't afford it 
either because you don't want to or a combination of both. It's not like they can check you on it or, or, or y'all can check them on it. The average person don't even know how to check the THC content on the weed. Do you? I do. How you know what you smoking is what you smoking? Because it smell like sour is sour? Anyway, long story short is the $40 eighth is cool when it's $40 worth of that product. It's not fire. If you get in your belly off some dude on the corner or, or, or some or who probably got his belly from another nigga off the corner, who probably got his belly from another nigga off the corner, who finally got his belly from another nigga sitting somewhere, who got his belly from, you get where I'm going with this shit. It's not what you think it is. If you're not testing your weed, if you don't know your strains, if you don't know what to look for, you will bust the bud open and see mites in it. Mites, the shit that be in the carpet. You will bust it, but I've done that. I've caught from the Hawthorne ass in the South 20th streets or whatever the case may be, bust their bags open or whatever, and seen undeveloped stems or whatnot. Immature weed. Mike's dirty ass weed or whatnot, but this supposed to be fire. I've tested sour diesel, sour diesel that only put up 14% THC, smoking that 70s weed. Look, the point I'm trying to make is as a hustler, as a seller, if a dude is confident of his product and knows where his product is coming from. And knows it's fire, knows it's legit. He's going, to, he's going to price it accordingly. I price mine accordingly. There's only two people between my shit. I, me and the guy I get it from. I don't got no middlemen. I know my strains. I know how to test for THC. I know that my high grade should be testing at least 26%. And medical should be testing no less than 30%. Strongest strain of weed out. Post 36% THC. The average shit on the street, the average shit on the street, meaning the shit that you probably bought off the corner store, man, right now, wouldn't yank more than 16. That sour that you copped off of old boy standing on, uh, you know, whatever street, whatever the case may be, not even breaking 20. Man, you get high off of it, so you don't complain. That don't make it fire, bro. So that's the story of the forty dollar eighth. It's the government cheese rendition of weed, and y'all cool with that? I don't knock you, but do know that it's only forty dollars because the product is subpar. So if you're content paying for subpar product, continue to do so, but don't expect me to do so or we'll sell it to you for such. I don't do subpar product. If you need information as to how to test your weed for TAC, let me know. I'll send you the links. You can buy the kits. They're on eBay. They're at Home Depot. They're all over. If you need more knowledge, hit me up. Let me know. I'll hit you with some links so you can do some reading. I also sell liquid THC that goes inside of these. I ain't got it ahead because all I got is the shit to sell. I don't, I don't smoke the shit I'm supposed to sell. I use all my personal shit. But I sell liquid concentrated THC. And trust me, that shit will put you on your ass. Um... I also sell wax too for dabbers. If any any dabbers out there, whatever the case may be. So um hey, I hope the video helped. Give you some insight as to what what's what. And stop asking a knowledgeable pitcher to give you three and a half grams for the cost of two when he know his product is official. If he's selling you haze. Or dro or some mid-range shit like that all day. But don't ask no man selling you 26% high grade, 30% medical grade for no fucking $40 age. That's disrespectful. Go get some $25 snickle fritz. I gotta hit the vape on that one. That shit just put a bad taste in my mouth. I had I rather I rather smoke the lint in a fucking vacuum cleaner after you do a whole carpet than smoke a twenty five dollar fucking eight. That shit looked like some bullshit. Let me press the button on y'all niggas. Y'all enjoy y'all day.